Hello YouTube! Welcome to NOSR Web. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to open or import multiple images as separate layers in Photoshop. I'm using the version Photoshop CS6, but it'll pretty much work the same way in other versions of Adobe Photoshop. Alright, if you're new to Photoshop, trying to open multiple images as separate layers can be a real pain in the butt but you don't have to worry about that anymore because in this tutorial I'll show you two ways you can import multiple images as separate layers in Photoshop one of them involves doing it directly on Photoshop the other method you have to use go through Adobe Bridge which is also within Photoshop. Alright, let's start the first method. This method only requires you to use Photoshop itself. What you are going to do is click on File, then you scroll down around here. You're going to see Scripts, then go down the drop down menu again and load files into stack click on load files into stack when you do that go ahead and click on browse then go to the folder where your files are or your images are and you are going to hold down the control button on the PC or the command button on the Mac while you click on multiple images you want to use in my case I'll use this one and this other one so I just held my control button as I clicked on these two images you can hold the command button for Mac users and obviously you can select more than two but I'm just going to be using two images for this tutorial when you are done clicking and selecting on images you want to use go ahead and click OK then click this other OK here to confirm then Photoshop will try to import both of them and put them on separate layers now when Photoshop is done loading your images as separate layers you can go here under layers here and rearrange these files as you would want so we we just brought this one our subject to the foreground so that we'll have this as our background and if you want to make any changes to any of your layers make sure you click on it first for example you click we have just clicked on this subject layer which is our foreground layer so if we want to rescale it or make any changes it will only affect that layer for example let me call up the move tool let me click on the move tool which is this and I'll just click and move this around if I try to click and move this background layer it will not be possible instead it will continue moving this one because it has its active it's the one we've clicked upon so it's active if you want to move that background layer you click on the background and use the move tool and you can move that one so you get it right for example now we want to rescale this background layer and have the background fill up all this empty space here so make sure it's clicked then we go to edit scroll down to transform and click on scale and the keyboard shortcut for this is shift plus control plus T as you have it here so click on scale and it only affects this background because we have it selected here now it's important that before you move these anchor points to scale you must hold down your control plus shift button control plus shift for the PC or command plus whatever corresponding button for the Mac users while holding down your control plus shift 
just click here and drag it will resize it then whenever you're done resizing anything with the transform tool make sure you come and click on this check uh, box here that says commit transform it locks that in then next we want to rescale our subject so we click on that subject layer just a single click remember so that any changes we'll make will only affect this our subject here we do the same thing we we'll go to edit scroll down to transform click on scale it puts all those eight anchor points around our subject or file then we can hold down the control plus shift button as we did before hold down and resize see that then if you're if you're okay with uh, your selection if you're okay with your resizing sorry you go and click the check check button so before I do that I just want to show you what will happen if you don't hold down the control plus shift button while you try to transform or scale this image it will distort the image so I'll just go ahead and click control plus Z to undo that so holding down your control plus shift button helps your rescaling to be done in prop in the right proportions so that you don't get distorted images so whenever you're happy with the level of your rescale go ahead and click on this checkbox then you can move your subject around with your move tool so where you want it to be all right this is one method to join two images that is to open two images as separate layers in Photoshop okay the next method of importing multiple files as separate layers in Photoshop involves using or going through Adobe Bridge now Adobe Bridge is a digital asset management app developed by Adobe systems it comes pre-installed in all Adobe software including Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro and so on. Adobe Bridge is often used to organize files uh, by renaming a group of them at once. It is also used to sort or categorize them based on their metadata. Uh, in Adobe Bridge, image files can be shown in different sized thumbnails, slideshows or lists and the file properties such as the dimensions and file size can easily be seen or read from Adobe Bridge. So, to open up Adobe Bridge from Photoshop, I'll go to File and click Browse in Bridge. And this is the keyboard shortcut in case you want it. It's Alt plus Control plus O, which should be Options plus command plus O for Mac users click that and it will open up Adobe Bridge okay now this is Adobe Bridge as you can see by the logo here BR and just wait for it for a bit yeah it loads up your files for example I have my desktop clicked here so it, it's showing everything on our desktop now all you simply need to do is click on the images you want to use for example I click on the subject as before and while holding control or command button for the Mac users you click on the other image you want to use so since we have clicked on the two images obviously you can 
click and select more than two images if you want. When you're done clicking your images, your multiple images, now all you have to do is go to tools, under tools, scroll down to Photoshop, then under Photoshop, click on this option that says load files into Photoshop layers. Click on that. It takes you back to Photoshop and tries to open those two files on top of each other as layers. And just as before, we can move these around by rearranging them to stack them on top of each other in the order that would suit you best. Then, like we did before, you can go ahead and uh, while selecting the layer you want to work with, go ahead, go to Edit, Transform, and Scale. Hold down your Control plus Shift key on your keyboard while you, while you scale. When you're done scaling, check this box. Then click on the other layer and go back to edit, transform, scale. Same thing, we just hold control plus shift button while we, we scale that layer. Like that, then hit this check box and uh, click on the move tool and rearrange or move your subject anywhere in this image. So you get the point. I hope this tutorial was helpful and straight to the point. Hope it was not confusing. Um, if you think it's helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye.